Welcome to Draw Fee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Karina. I'm Jacob. And I'm Julia. And I'm Kaylee. <gasps> That's right. Kaylee McKee is here. Why don't you Hello. tell everyone what you do? I am a voice actress primarily. Uh, you may know me in things like B Stars on Netflix. Uh, I do the voice of Pina, the doll sheep. And uh, I'm also in some other things like a Record of Ragnarok and uh, Genshin Impact. And uh, oh I, I have a lot of fun with it. Yay. You're in everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was looking everything at your IMDb. Everything we love. Yeah. This is going nuts. <laughs> I, instead of Focusing on me, I actually wanted to suggest people maybe donate to a Trans Law Center or Mermaids UK if they would like to. Mermaids UK, they actually won a pretty big fight over there recently, but they still have a lot of battles to to uh, come at head on and uh, any help would uh, be wonderful for them. And I uh, wanted to give them a shout out for that. Awesome. Hell yeah. Those Hell are good yeah. plugs. Yeah, good plugs. But today, it's specifically about the beasts that are also stars. Be stars. Be the star stars. Beasts. Be the stars. star beasts. Be stars. <laughs> Yay. And you've come on because you're going to give us other anime characters that we're going to convert into be stars. I am. And as an added bonus, I have, uh, it sort of started to lean this way, so I just went, and went in with it. Uh, each of these characters will also is also voiced by a castmate of mine in Beastars. <gasps> oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> shout out to them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. can shout them all out as we go. Absolutely. Uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to go first, so I'm ready for for my anime character. Jacob, for you, I'm going to give you the Pokemon character, Hop. <gasps> and this is interesting because Hop is in Twilight Wings, and another short anime series, but is not in the primary Pokemon anime. <laughs> Instead, replaced by a character named Go, filling the same spot. Hop is voiced by Griffin Puatu, uh, who voices Louie in Beastars, um, and is also voiced by Adrian Varlock in the other anime, and then has a different <laughs> voice in the Pokemon Masters game as well. <laughs> different different actors for every single iteration. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I know Hop, of course, from the game. Yeah. Jacob loves Hop. Yeah. Precious boy. I, I don't love Hop. What? Hop, oh, I thought not, you did. <laughs> Hop is a little annoying. No. He's cute, though. Look at his cute I do. I do jacket. love his design, for sure. <laughs> Damn, Jacob. Coming out swinging with a bad taste. When you, when you play the game, <laughs> Hop is definitely the dude who always shows up and he's like, I'm going to get you this time. And then you just like steamroll him once yeah, more. Yeah, I he's ruined like... his life and I feel bad because he's adorable. He, does, he feels so bad because he's trying to live up to his brother. But eventually he gets over it and goes to work at the Pokemon lab. It's yeah. very cute. I love I, that. Story. I read it as he gives up on his dreams because you crush his spirit <laughs> so thoroughly yeah. and repeatedly. Everybody boo Jacob. <laughs> Don't I see. do it. Boo. This might be the Cynical most controversial timeline. thing you've said. Uh, people will and agree that's saying with me. Something. I'm speaking with the voice of the people. Okay. What people? <laughs> the people. They'll agree. Well. The people. What kind of Pokemon does Hop use? Uh, he uses a variety, but his main one is the sheep. Yeah, I'm definitely mm -hmm. making him into like a sheep ram type of character because oh. um, he's also got the fur collar. He does, yeah. And it, that's also another reason why I picked him because he has sheep theme. <laughs> yeah. Adorable. <laughs> I never thought that hard about it, but yeah. I feel like Bunny would have also been an obvious way to go because of the hop. name, but I don't, mm. think it, I don't think it tracks as much. Sheep hop too. What's sheep that? hop too, Jacob. <laughs> sheep do hop, but not notoriously so. That's true. Does he ever use a rabbit? Po Are there any rabbit Pokemon in Sword and Shield? There's Is, that. I think Baneary. horrible. Uh, the uh, well, is the what is it? bunny the, in there? There's a yeah. bun. Yeah, there's the oh yeah, scorch scorch bunny, bunny. But then there's like the big uh, digger bee, the one Diggers where it has bee. Diggers arms bee. for yeah, ears. yeah, <laughs> arms for ears. Don't what? think too hard about it, Julia. <laughs> I can't not think about it. <laughs> is the problem. Diggersby is a great name, though. It's like a Victorian gentleman's name. I was just about to say. Oh my God. <laughs> Diggersby? Diggersby, I need you to come over here and uh, dig me this grave. 
<laughs> oh my god i forgot yes. for a second we had an actual voice actress yes. on this yes. program yes. <laughs> then you came out and i was like oh <laughs> wow that's good <laughs> oh my god why thank you i thank you <laughs> <laughs> I was just earlier watching uh, clips of your Pina performance. I love that. Oh, yeah? It's so good. I was watching YouTube <laughs> clips and I was like, dang. <laughs> Damn, Jacob, just watch Beastars. I know. I haven't watched season two yet or even all of season one. Bro, <laughs> remember when I lent you two volumes of Beastars and you <laughs> didn't give them back to me for over a year because <laughs> of a global pandemic yeah. well that aside <laughs> no 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 he he just wanted to steal it you know yeah yeah just classic stuff <laughs> i caused the pandemic so i wouldn't have to give them back yes the it's like the ultimate library book like heist yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i still got them back it didn't even work well we stole all <laughs> and the, the books ramifications from you. are enormous now we have reference <laughs> books from you that we're not giving back yeah that's true <laughs> And yet I keep bringing y'all books. <laughs> yeah. And you haven't even watched mm -hmm. Beastars. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Just you wait. Gotta. By the time this episode comes out, I will have already watched all of Beastars. Okay, I'm holding you to that. That's my solemn vow. Yeah, how much do we hold you to if, that? If I haven't, <laughs> then I will resign my position. As okay. As Jacob. You heard it here. I have to be someone else. <laughs> Jorka. Expect a magazine letter like note uh, in the mail. Like, yeah. you must have watched B Stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's very threatening letters from Kaylee coming through the mail. I'm like, how'd you get my address? Hey. hey my ways. <laughs> It does somehow still end with like a little heart though to in like an attempt to make it less threatening. Like the whole letter is very threatening and then there is just like a little cut out heart that in there. Tracks. Like, I am absolutely known to do that. Like if somebody yeah. does something actually not cool, I'll be like, that was not cool. And I'm so sorry that I had to say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't be upset with me. I cannot be upset with other people in case it makes that person upset at me. We kind of do that. We always yep. apologize. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And for what? <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> I'm yeah. wearing a shirt that says we're sorry. Yeah, you're doing it right now. I'm doing now. it right now. Oh, my God. My shirt says sinner. That feels in character. <laughs> <laughs> the duality. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the drawfy way. <laughs> Jacob, this is adorable. I love yeah. how pleasant this boy looks. It's so Hop cute. is very pleasant. I will give he that is. to Hop. <laughs> I feel like Hop would be the best friend in Pokemon, because he is. Be stars. <laughs> <laughs> you know I haven't played the game, Jacob. I'm not a Pokemon woman. I'm not a Poke woman. I'm a woman of morals. <laughs> I might suggest that um, as far as as far as Drawfy canon goes, you are the Pokemon woman. Yeah, that's really true. Oh and no, the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. I'm Take having an identity crisis so early on in this episode. <laughs> His pose is so so friendly. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get those hands do, in the pockets. I do just want to geek out slightly because I love all the character designs in Sword and Shield. Mm-hmm. They're the best. They're really good. I do like all the character designs. They really are so good. Like Marnie yes. and Team Yell. I, yes. I don't like <laughs> Team Yell, but I love that sort of design and dynamic. Yeah. Yes, Marnie is the best. As soon as I saw her, I was like, oh, that's, that's mine. That's my character. <laughs> Can I be her, please? <laughs> this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> but they wouldn't let me be Marnie. I think you can now. At the end of the game, I think they give you pretty much her whole outfit. Oh, yeah, that's true, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I feel mm -hmm. like they added her hairstyle, but I may be wrong. So but, you can just be her But now. the issue is your character in that game always has the same vacant expression <laughs> on their face, yeah. and so you can never truly that's their capture personality. <laughs> the look. They just have that blank stare straight ahead. <laughs> They're stupid, Marnie. <laughs> It's like the uh, it's like the Zelda like Song of Emptiness version of Marnie. Yes, <laughs> thousand yard stare. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> just standing around menacingly yeah. in weird yeah. spots, watching you from afar. Yeah. <laughs> the character I know the most is the one that people kept tagging me. Oh, with the on one Twitter. that looks like you. The one that looks the like top hat me, one. the top yeah. hat one. <laughs> what's yeah. what's his name? Like Avery or Avery? something? Is it Avery? It might be Avery. It might be Avery. I'm gonna go I didn't I didn't have the game with him in it. I got Clara who I love dearly and I wish she would bully me more <laughs> I just think it's nice <laughs> what's the deal with like sheep tails uh fluffy? fluffy generally fluffy usually with a bit of a point uh although yeah. oh, I yeah. do not know why but Pina has a long tail with a tuft at the end true whoa that's weird are there yeah. sheep that have that I have looked up the sheep that he's supposed to be it does not have that. <laughs> Interesting. Pina's built different. Yeah, it's just like a creative <laughs> choice. Pina's a doll sheep? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or a thin horn, thin horn sheep. I love Pina. No, they got little tails, like and you, you know said. What? Jacob, you yeah. probably love Pina too if you just watch B stars. <laughs> well, from the clip I watched, which was Pina walking in on uh, Lagoshi and, and Tiger guy yeah. having like an argument. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is my favorite character. Yeah. In this house, we love Pina and hate the Tiger guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Bill or something? Bill. <laughs> Bill, yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves Pina. Why would you not? <laughs> it's only natural. <laughs> oh. Every time. It's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> it's like so impressive. Yeah, it, it literally sounds like, I mean, Aww. obviously it sounds like I'm listening to an anime because you make the voice that's in the anime. But it's like, I feel like I just left it on in yeah. the background. I, I did have that thing of like, Jacob, you left open Netflix. <laughs> Again. Come on. Get your shit together, Jacob. Are you still watching? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Uh, I'm going to make like a pastoral sort of scene. In, in he just post. stands oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> I live here. Well, he's sort of walking. This is you know. his spot. Yeah. yeah. When we're walking by on the road, uh, you know, they look over to him he, and he just gives him a wink and a little nod. Yeah. Hey. Just lets him on their way. How's it I've going? interacted with a sheep once, and this kind of tracks. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, they just kind of stand there yeah. until they want to trample you based on my <laughs> yeah. experiences. <laughs> the Lords of Vibe most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is it. This is Hop. Uh, B-Stars Hop. This is Adorable. so cute. I love him. <laughs> Thank you. Hop was such a good pick for Jacob. He doesn't go to school. He just stands in a field. <laughs> This yeah. is school. He's delinquent, but they don't care. He's just so chill. Yeah, yeah. They don't care. He's so sweet about it. They take one look at him and they're like, mm. <laughs> just leave him. All right. My turn. Yes. Karina turn. Yes. Uh, I'm going to give you Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. <gasps> oh, Gojo. Gojo, yes. My boyfriend. And um, <laughs> you can do either. With his blindfold on or without. Oh. Yeah. And uh, he is voiced by KG Tang, who voices the tiger that we've all established. <laughs> <in case. laughs> hey. Wow, what a swing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn, you set me up for that one, but okay. <laughs> I set you up just to knock you down with that That's KG. That's fair. <laughs> Okay, so I have to admit that I haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen, although oh. I do love the character designs. We've seen it all. I've Tell seen me all about of Jujutsu. It. It's so good. So Jujutsu Kaisen is like kind of a bleach situation. Like yeah. There's demon. They're called curses in this world. And then you have these Jujutsu sorcerers that use cursed yeah. energy to fight them and uh, protect society. And Satoru Gojo is considered the strongest or one of the strongest jujutsu sorcerers. And one of his uh, most recognized abilities is infinite, infinite. which is uh, essentially when an enemy attempts to strike Gojo, they instead make contact with the infinite space between them and his body. 
That's essentially scary. using the concept of uh, ever approaching zero as armor. <laughs> oh, it's so good. He's an intellectual. And they uh, say that what you learn in algebra cra- class will never be useful. <laughs> yeah, he's also a massive dumbass. Yeah, he's a massive dumbass. Oh, he's an intellectual yeah. and a dumbass. Yeah, yeah, you would like him a lot, Karina. I probably would. He's a big, powerful, beautiful dumbass. Okay. He's an absolute, like, twimbo. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> it is now. I mean, it's accurate, so yes. A twink twimbo? Yeah. 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 He's a twink yeah. twimbo? Very oh much God. so. I feel I feel like this is a bit of a basic choice, but he's given me them like doggo vibes. Well, yeah, yeah. that seems right. Hell yeah, it suits so. the tracks. One of my favorite things about Gojo, yeah, um, is that like in in like Jujutsu Kaisen, like something that increases like a curse's power is how much people believe it or know about it. <laughs> and so Gojo's like essentially the strongest sorcerer because he like really thinks he is and also everyone else thinks he is and so that makes it true the best self-fulfilling prophecy yeah absolutely yeah. that's how I go through life I like that <laughs> Okay. yeah I want to live with that energy oh to go through my daily life with the em- energy of a twimbo Gojo <laughs> <laughs> He does give me like slight Pomeranian vibes. <laughs> <laughs> he has Pom in him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a mix. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where maybe he looks kind of wolfy, but then then he's not. <laughs> he's like one of those um th- those real dumb huskies that are beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, cuz he's got the eyes. My friend has a white husky with these gl- like bright blue eyes. Exactly, Gojo, now that you mention it. Amazing. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a husky. He's a husky. Oh my God, this one goes out to you, <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> fans. <laughs> People love when we do animal-themed episode. Yeah, that's true. This one is for the furries again. Yeah, our first Sona's episode is still one of our more popular ones. That's true. The furry arc is powerful. Yeah. People love when we draw them. And Shout I get it. It's cool to draw. Shout out to furries. Yeah, I've I've drawn animals and like anthro folks the least, but the moment that I do, I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, this cool. feels nice. That's been my villain arc this year, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> really leaning into your neopets. Yeah, I got a <laughs> They're poured into me and they have rich fulfilling lives. <laughs> One interesting fact about Beastars. stars uh-huh. Is that there are no amphibians ever so far, and there is one singular fish. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> there's a fish. Yeah, you know How does that, that work? if you're caught up. <laughs> <laughs> there is a shark, um, but it's weird because like turtles, lizards, they all have limbs. Uh, birds. Limbs, human shape, snake, no limbs, just a big snake. Yeah. <laughs> shark, just a massive shark. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is the shark like a character too? Like- yes. It shows up in, I think, one volume and is literally just like, what are you doing down here? Like, <laughs> that's it. That's so funny. I want to know more about yeah. like what all the animals would look like. Wow, you know how you can find out. <laughs> well, apparently I can't find out about amphibians. <laughs> I really want there to be like a frog or a salamander. Yeah. But they, they're not there? They won't do it. Paru Itagaki, where's the amphibians? I'm a gonna, salamander would look cute. Yeah, I'm gonna cover some inevitable comments right here. I'm calling you out, audience. There's a second manga, Beast Complex, and that one I haven't oh. read all of. So I don't know if, if any of those animals are in it, but if anyone's going to bring it up, <laughs> I beat you to gotcha. it. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see the comment that's like, they commented that there are amphibians in Beast Complex and then said, edit, just saw that Karina. <laughs> yeah. Because people comment like <laughs> mid-watch. They don't even wait to see if we address it. Yeah. <laughs> They have full permission to pause the video at me on Twitter and then feel bad. (laughs) Go on. And then at again and say, sorry, I kept listening. (laughs) (laughs) At least we get the apology, I guess. Yeah. 
As long as you apologize, you're one of the good ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the best ones are the ones that wait until the episode is over to comment. Nah. They're my favorite. But what if I forget what I wanted to comment, Jacob? <laughs> you should take notes. True, I have ADHD. <laughs> if we go like 30 seconds, I won't even know what my name is. <laughs> Well, if you reach the end of the episode and you no longer feel the need to comment what you wanted to say, then that's yeah. even better, I think. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Jacob said no engagement. Screw the interactions. <laughs> I'm breaking out of the algorithm. I don't care anymore. Droffy's going rogue off the grid. <laughs> I really like reading Droffy's comments. Yeah. 99.9% yeah. nice. of the time. I did just picture a Wreck-It Ralph breaking out of the algorithm sequel. Yeah. <laughs> I love this tongue he's got going on, I think. Is that what that yeah. is? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, this is looking great. Such Thanks. a smolder. This is just a pose from one of the anime figures that came up on Google. I love anime figures. So They're good. <laughs> my eyes drawn. <laughs> I love them too, and I also never buy them. I don't sug I don't recommend anyone get that Absolute as a hobby. Absolute especially if you like things like Digimon who only make like premium figures <laughs> that cost a lot yeah, of that's money. A <laughs> I ha I may or may not have an $80 Omega Mon. <laughs> that's so valid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about how much my Beelzemon riding behemoth cost, but <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's an investment. Yeah. You had to do it for the boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's my husband and um, <laughs> my boyfriend. So like, it is what it is. Extremely valid. You know, yeah. Whatever. I took extra work outside of my job to justify that purchase. <laughs> so I'm allowed. <laughs> I have Omega Mon and uh, Growl Mon. And a couple yes. of others. And I have about like 80 billion DBZ figures from when I was Hell a kid. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Of course. As well as many Gundams. Oh, I have two Gundams to Jacob's right. Yep. Don't we have a DBZ character that goes on the Christmas tree every year, Jacob? <laughs> yeah. Is that true? <laughs> it's one of the ones I had that survived from my childhood. It's oh a. Oh my God. It's a boo, a boo figure. Oh, we do Aww. a boo, yeah. Boo? Yeah. Christmas boo? Yeah. We have a Christmas boo. And he goes on the tree along with, I think it's like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat is one of them. <laughs> yeah, some of the Power Rangers. <laughs> some Power Love Rangers. That for you. Yeah. <laughs> what better way to celebrate the season? <laughs> yeah. True enough. And boo loves candy. There's yeah, lots exactly. of candy oh. at Christmas. And you know who else yeah. loves candy? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Read the Bible. Yeah. And he said, no man or woman or any other shall go without sugary sweets. <laughs> and Jesus went into the bank and said, what? No mints? <laughs> and flipped the table. Yeah. Oh, it's no. the reason for the season. <laughs> <laughs> he really misunderstood what the Romans meant by like the Roman mint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the mint. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean it's not edible? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Jesus said. <laughs> Jesus got so mad he stormed out into the lake and forgot to let gravity take hold. <laughs> Just kept stomping. And lo. <laughs> and lo, he, he walked across water. We won't mention why. <laughs> we'll leave that bit out. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll 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 make this look even better for you furries out there in post. But These little oh, finger yeah. pads are the best. It's important. Yeah. They have made my day. The beans are always important. It's yes. so cute. <laughs> finger beans. Yes. yes. You know I'd be poking them. <laughs> You when gotta. They're they're... <laughs> Why don't people have finger beans? Because we wouldn't stop poking them. Nothing How... would get done. <laughs> yeah, yeah that do was natural else. selection at work. <laughs> yeah. It was too distracting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I got to see what Julia is going to do. All so. right. Yeah, let's get Let Julia me in. <laughs> All righty. It is my turn. If you are ready. I am prepared. Perfect. <laughs> I am going to give you Char Aznable. 
from Gundam. Oh my god! Oh my god! How did you god. Know what Julia would want. <laughs> Who was recently portrayed by Keith Silverstein, who did the voice of Goheen the Panda in Beastars. Oh. Oh, awesome. Otherwise, he's often portrayed by Michael Kopsa, and for a series of movies once, Steve Blum, which oh. is interesting to me because Steve Blum, his voice seems like it'd be different from Keith Silverstein. I haven't listened to it, though. Um, But super talented guy, obviously, so I'm sure he did fantastic. Yeah. Permanently ingrained <laughs> in my mind is like the uh, the. Uh, What's up, tsunami faithful? <laughs> like that thing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I've just like had my brain broken already because I know he voices Geomon in Digimon Tamers. Oh my oh. goodness! I never actually knew that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He yes. voices a kid's OC who comes to life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So I feel like Char would be like a golden falcon. <gasps> yeah, right? that sounds right Ooh. to me. The whole helmet's yeah. really like bird-esque. Yeah, and it's got like the, the antenna that Gundam loves to do. So I feel like I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Are there there are there are birds? Yes. Yes. There's an eagle. Yes, there are birds. Yes. Okay. He for sure gives me bird vibes. Yeah, definitely. They still have beaks, right? That's what I'm remembering. Beak stars. Okay, cool. It'd be really weird if they didn't. That's true. (laughs) They just have (laughs) mouth. Just like big eyes, and then just like a human mouth. (laughs) Howdy. (laughs) Just covered in feathers. Yeah. Yeah. That's nightmarish. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's a bold artistic choice. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing okay. with B stars birds is I don't know if they can actually fly. Their arms are just like thick feathered arms yeah. with right. feathered hands. Yeah. They probably can't fly, I'd imagine. I That's imagine it complicate things in the society world building. <laughs> yeah, probably so. <laughs> I mean, complications of the society we're building is like the entire B stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a compromise like, you know, carnivores and herbivores have to make compromises yeah. to coexist. Birds they just are like, don't we fly. Gotta stop flying because it's making everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> We agree to not have a sky kingdom that you all cannot get to. Yeah. At least what is... um, without, um, we won't tell you about it. Yeah, it's a <laughs> you big know, wink just... wink on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's just, what is the flying a metaphor for? <laughs> Free- freedom from societal yeah. standards? I don't know. I, I forgot... <laughs> I've talked about this on stream to some extent, but um, my mom started watching Beastars, uh, which was very shocking to me. <laughs> oh. Because I I share my Netflix account with them. And mm-hmm. so I log in because I'm nosy. So I like to see what my mom's watching. And she was four episodes into D- into Beastars. And I was just like... <laughs> 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 so I was I was asking her about it. And... TLDR, she didn't really watch it. She kind of just had it on out of curiosity because she knows <laughs> I like it. But yeah. she kept falling asleep during it, <laughs> of course. But but she was just like, I like the music. And what is the significance of the moon? They keep showing the moon, I guess, in the ending. And mm. for some reason, I just started explaining the themes of Beast Stars to her and what the different colored moons might signify. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then she was Launch like, into oh. a dissertation." Yeah, I was like, and she was like, "Oh, I see. Well, I like their uniforms." And I was like, "Okay, I didn't <laughs> need to explain that at all." <laughs> That's precious, honestly. Yeah, my my dad is actually like, who got me into anime as a kid. Um, oh, that's awesome. Oh. Yeah, and he he still watches anime, and he, before I was in Beastars, he had come and visited me in LA, and we were talking about anime, and he was like, have you watched this Beastars? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, it's so weird, isn't it? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, and I can't stop watching. And he's like, no, same, but I couldn't watch <laughs> the English dub. 
because hearing English out of anim- out of the way they animate those animal mouths was so weird. It just, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. And so then I got cast, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to make him watch the dub. Yeah, now you got to. <laughs> I like the dub. I think it's Oh, I, I love it. Yeah, yeah, he he said he got over it, and he it was just the weirdness <laughs> with the animation to him uh, at first because yeah. he wasn't used to the concept of anthro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, normie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's also the one that showed me the Battle Angel Alita OVA when I was like seven. Ooh, so wow. Oh hell yeah! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want some Shar Aznable facts? By the way, please. Always. I love Char. <laughs> my favorite, I don't know if you know this, but my favorite part of Char is that he has so many names. <laughs> so his his name, Char Aznable, is actually uh-huh. the name of the man Char Aznable, which he killed, which looked exactly like him, except for a difference in eye color. And he oh. killed Shar Aznabal and began impersonating him so he could be in the military to avenge <laughs> his noble family, which was killed by the Zeons. And that family is uh, the Rem Daikuns, his original name being uh, Kasval Rem Daikun. But by that time that he took Shar Aznabal, he had already changed his name once to Edwa Moss when his family <laughs> died and he was adopted by a different family. <laughs> I love it. He's just like, this is mine. This is mine. Yeah. <laughs> and then after making Shar Aznable this huge name in this war, after it ended, he could no longer be Shar Aznable, or at least didn't want to be. And so he took the name Quattro Bagina <laughs> in Gundam Zeta. No, you yeah. can't, Shar. And oh Quattro, because it was his Quattro. fourth name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so Good dramatic. And then arguably there was a, a a clone copy of Char that had um part of his soul imprinted onto it because he was a new type. And so it became a rebirth of Char. They were specifically trying to recreate Char, bring Char back to life. And this new incarnation of Char didn't even call himself Char. He called himself <laughs> Full Frontal. <laughs> what? Bruh. First Why name full, that? last name frontal. Bruh, that's <laughs> not a name. <laughs> Somebody, nobody tell him. Somebody tell him. Somebody, who's gonna tell him? <laughs> full frontal quattro vagina. <laughs> I don't say that. That's my full name. My full birth name. I was born this way, baby. It's what Lady Gaga sang about. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good. This man knows how to name himself. Yep. Yeah, he really does. I love that for him. I never watched Gundam, but it does sound up my alley in terms of bullshittery. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. wild. Yep. It really is. I was going to say it's a good show, but it depends. <laughs> it really do. I like it. You forget that I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> Which also has a character named Quattro, mind you. <laughs> my name's Quattro, Chic Quattro. <laughs> the threads, they connect. And in fact, there is a show, a Gundam show, that supposedly connects all the timelines, the different timelines of Gundam into one. Oh. And it's called Turn A Gundam. Turn a Gundam. Turn, and it's, turn a Gundam. it's, it's an A flipped upside down. Uh. <laughs> you call it Turna. Turna. I love it. It's what, Gundam's one of those shows where every time you look into it, you're like, why is this so big when it does something like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it has all the cool robots. Yeah, and like even, you go to that giant transforming yeah. one in Japan. It's cool. Even <sighs> I've had a Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Bear guy. I love this piercing gaze. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I wanted him to be a student. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was at one point, I'm sure. Yeah, and he had a different name. He was a student at a mid- military academy <laughs> after he killed Shar Aznable. Yeah, and yeah. he said, you're named this? <laughs> I'm, I'm named, named this. this. <laughs> it's like the teacher calls attendance, and no matter what name the teacher says, Shar is like, here, 
keeps <laughs> answering. Here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Sorry, I have all those names too. Those are all my, those are all mine too. Will the real Shar Aznable Edouard Moss full frontal please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> And then he doesn't stand up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is it with you, man? What's your deal? Make up your mind. Uh, so the so the guy who voiced him recently in Gundam Origin as well, Keith Silverstein, he also did play Full Frontal like 10 years before. Otherwise, he had not played Char himself. Oh. Um, and he also voices um, Zhong Li in, in Genshin Impact, who is oh. one of my favorite characters. I love him. He's like the god of the earth god. Nice. It's cool that he like retroactively voiced Char. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and literally. Went, went in reverse. Yeah. Yep. It literally was like, here's the prequel, and we're going to take the guy who voiced the like kind of reincarnation clone of him. That'll that that's good. That yeah. tracks. I decided I wanted him to wear the the Ooh. suit like the the shirt and tie like Are the you other like students designing would be a new outfit for him. <laughs> <laughs> One outfit for every name. <laughs> this is just who he is in the B Stars universe. Yeah. yeah, a tortured soul bent on revenge. Yeah, uh -huh. and also he wear nice suit. Yeah, yeah. got a lot of style. You are using the school uniform from B Stars. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. It's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wear the little sweater vest. Yeah. Kaylee, I also have to ask before the episode is over about Record of Ragnarok. Because yes. we watched the first season all together. Like, yeah, we did. We, it became like our after recording tradition <laughs> yes. to watch it. Because that show is so wild. <laughs> oh, are we doing Record of Ragnarok teams? <laughs> <laughs> who who oh, yeah. did you voice in Record of Ragnarok? Yeah, yeah, I, I was um, Rangriz, who is yes. the Valkyrie sister who turns into Lubu's weapon and then Lubu. immediately yes. dies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. And everybody's sad. <laughs> yeah. Even Lubu's horse cries. Yeah, even the horse. Yeah. <laughs> the horsey tears. <laughs> I think about that horse crying animation every day. Every day. At least once a At day. At least once a day. The intrusive inner voice in my head goes Lou boo. Boo, boo I was also a lot of the like extra soldiers for Lou boo I did a lot of the yeah. work oh, so yes. I very much did the like Lou boo <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy yes yeah so it's that you rules. that I'm hearing yeah. <laughs> in yeah. my subconscious forever now you are the voice in Karina's head now yeah oh, I also did Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart for like the, his two yes. lines. <laughs> That's hysterical. It's just... How many people can say they VA'd Mozart? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I have a friend named Wolfgang. So I, I loved, after I did that, I went to him and I'm like, I'm not Wolfgang, you're Wolfgang, but I do play Wolfgang on TV. <laughs> <laughs> My new my new icebreaker at parties is if you were creating a team of humans record of Ragnarok style to fight the gods who would be on <laughs> your be team? on your human team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's such a good question. Mine's uh, I haven't f compiled the full team, but it's Lin Manuel Miranda, <laughs> the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> who else? I already forgot. <laughs> um, that dude from Teen Wolf. Which dude from Teen Wolf? The guy with the wide stance. <laughs> Derek Hale? Derek Hale from Teen Wolf. Yeah, the character, not the yeah, actor. The character. <laughs> 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 mm, I don't know who I would pick. I, it's it's tough. I would maybe say like Ip Man, because I love those kung fu movies, and I fe oh, feel like yeah. that would be amazing. Those rule. Yeah, absolutely. Past that, I would just go like off the wall. I mean, they did it in the show. <laughs> like just throw in Weird Al Yankovic. He'll polka them. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Get in there, Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Julia just found the, the picture of Char wearing the big sunglasses. I forgot about his big sunglasses and how oh, could oh. I? Did you know the reason he wore the mask? That his like signature mask and also sunglasses? Was Please literally because of his him killing color. Char Aznable and they had different eye colors. Yeah. So I he like that. made his entire look 
around not just just not have wanting people to see his eyes. That's it. Did they not have colored contacts in this <laughs> in the Gundam future? Yeah, Gundam future. <laughs> his excuse was like, "Oh, I have to wear this mask because I got like radiation damage to my eyes." And I'm like, "Could you not also just say that radiation damage took your eyes from brown to green?" Like, yeah. 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 People would believe that. We're bullshitting I know, anyway. I know I would. Yeah. I actually don't notice if people's eye color change. Yeah, I think most people would not have noticed. But I also am just bad with faces <laughs> and features. I I feel you there. One of my friends in high school got blue contacts, and I had known her since the third grade. Didn't notice. <laughs> and then she got mad at me for not noticing <laughs> that her the eyes classic. were no longer brown. <laughs> I knew somebody in high school who used these like cobalt blue oh. contacts. And whenever anybody asked, she'd be like, these are my natural eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this they're not. This is just not. how they look. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Char could have just said, I'm in an anime. So my eyes changed color. That yeah. happens all the time. In <laughs> yeah, and then he looks directly at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> or yes. rather the person drawing. <laughs> Watch Naruto. It happens all the time. You see next to it, editor's note, he's right, it's anime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all according to Keikaku. <laughs> <laughs> the is... vibe of this is... A uh, guy just got his license and next day comes in with a convertible somehow because of daddy's money. And that is very char asnable. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, well, this is a perfect choice for me. Uh, I feel like you got us all so yeah. well. Yeah, you really nailed it. Good choices. I didn't yeah. know my guy, Thank but you. I felt my guy. Yeah. <laughs> I did my very best. <laughs> you didn't know him, but now you've met him. Yes. Yeah. And so now you do. I love me a twimbo. I encourage you to get to know him more. I've been meaning <laughs> to, but I'm really bad at watching things. We can all watch it together. <laughs> we could, couldn't we? We could. <laughs> it's a legit good show. After Beastars. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee, come over. We're watching Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> And All B right. stars at the same time, <laughs> dual screen. Dual screen. <laughs> I'll prep. I'll I'll bring snacks, and and um, they'll be like two different, like sweet and extra spicy, and I'll split it down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kaylee, thank you so much for coming on the show. This was a blast. Yeah. This was thanks so, so fun. much for having me. I had so much fun. And uh, <laughs> where can people find you on the internet? They can find me at Gaspy V O G H A S P E Y V O on Twitter and Instagram, and uh, on Twitch usually every Tuesday and Thursday. And I have a new thing that I'm doing on Thursdays called queer baiting, where I do like fishing mini games in games. <laughs> that's awesome. That rules. Um, and, yeah. and that's just Gaspy. <laughs> okay. Great. Cool. Yeah. Go go check that out. Yeah. You know what's good for you. And while you're doing it, check out the like button and the subscribe button <laughs> yeah. on our YouTube channel. Are you seeing this shit? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Whoa. You can click those. Yeah. Comment down below to boo Jacob for his takes <laughs> or <laughs> to say nice things. I don't know if you knew this, but but YouTube has the ability to like interact and like <gasps> build a community. <gasps> Whoa. You know what true. else does? <laughs> Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> oh, actual good segue. <laughs> you can interact with our community in our Discord if you join our Patreon. Mm -hmm. And we're on there too. At any level, right? Yes. At any level, At any level. That's correct. <laughs> uh, and you'll go, go get some bonuses <laughs> if you go higher level. I'm a voice actor too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, bad, bad <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> And that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and as always, we're sorry. Sorry. S we're sorry, stars. <laughs> sorry. Be, be sorry. No. Be, be sorry. Be, be <laughs> sorry, stars. <laughs> Cut the tape. <laughs>